What's up guys? My name is Khan and we're back today with more Railroads Online and today we're going to go and deliver some cows. I actually spent some time in my own time. It's been a bit since the last video, but yeah, I spent some time delivering nothing but seed pallets and water to the grain farm. But you can see we still got a bunch of seed pallets here. Water is really the big pain in the butt uh, because it's so far away. Uh, but I do have our water cars just kind of sitting here on the siding, so we'll have to pick those up. But yeah, we're going to go deliver some products to the cattle farm. And then hopefully get enough to get a cow and, uh, you know, deliver a cow back to the freight depot and see how much that sells for. We got 28 straw bales, so that's pretty good. And we've got 30, oh no, 28 grain as well. So that should be all right. And we'll deliver, you know, one batch of that to the cow farm. I think we already have at least one cow at the cow farm. I don't know how many a cattle car can carry. Let's actually buy one of those right now because we might as well. Um, and we got a count actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh my god, there's so many cars in this game. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Oh my god, twenty-four. It is number twenty-four. So it would be twenty-four hundred would be the name of this car, and we're just gonna go with Aurora. Falls Railroad. I know I haven't come up with a name yet. I'm sorry. I need to actually go through some comments and look for some good names. We're getting to the point where we should probably name the company. Um, but yeah, this will be our first cattle car. We'll just call it Aurora Falls Railroad. We'll paint it like a terrible, a terrible color. You know, we could honestly name all our cars Aurora Falls Railroad if we wanted to. Um, this is 17,000 pounds empty. That's, that's kind of... It's kind of insane. Luckily for us, the cattle farm is uphill, and we only have to go downhill from the cattle farm to get to the, uh, check tier. Tier 5? Oh my god, are you serious? Can I not afford... I'm level 1. How am I level 1? How am I still only level... Okay, well, I guess we're not buying a cow. We're not buying cows today, apparently. I thought I was gonna be able to buy cows! What the heck, game? How am I only level 1 still? Are you serious? Do I have to, like, like, just deliver... Do I have to deliver more advanced products before I can get out of level 1? Well, that is... That actually sucks. That actually sucks so much. So I've been delivering stuff to cows, and I can't actually even... I can't actually even deliver a single cow? Is that actually the case? Are we... Hold on. We gotta navigate our way back. I think I'm set to the right. Yeah, I think I'm set to go back into the freight depot, because that's where I was picking up seeds from. We'll just coast our way there, and while we're doing that, are you serious? Am I actually tier 1? Tier 1, tier 1, tier 1. What can I actually buy? A tier 3. A side dump car is a tier 3. Tier 1, tier 1. I can't even buy, like, a steak flat car for lumber until I'm tier 2? And cows are tier 5? 7 for a gondola? Oh my god. Are you How am I only tier 1? Really? I'm literally only tier 1? Do I just have to deliver more and more... That sucks. I feel like I should be, like, tier 7 by now. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna go and get the rest of the stuff and deliver it to the cattle farm. Because, I mean, not much else we can do there. Let's just, uh, I gotta slow down a little bit here. Yeah, we gotta go left here into the, into the yard. There was an issue as well, which has apparently been fixed. Um, but there was an issue where, uh, your brakes all kind of let go. And, um, yeah, so we have an uphill yard. And all the brakes let go. So I have all the cars parked down here now. Simply because, um, you know, sometimes if you're on a railroad, I think this is probably why they don't build yards on hills. But yeah, if your brakes fail, then uh, your cars just come sliding down the hill and they all smash into each other at the bottom of the switches. Which is sort of exactly what happened. Might have to rethink this whole uphill yard situation. Might have to build the yard here and make it nice and flat or something if we can do that. And, uh, just have this be, like, a Y or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look. We'll see what we want to do. But, yeah. All my cars came flying down here. So, we're going to park these ones up here. Apparently, the dev said it is fixed. Uh, the issue has been fixed. So, I'm going to park these ones up on the hill. And, hopefully, they won't, you know, also release and drop down. I am extremely bummed out that I cannot buy a cattle car. I spent so much time, like, you know, just grinding the same route over and over again. And I thought it was going to be fine, because I was like, yeah, you know what, we'll just grind out this route, we'll deliver some seed pallets and some water, and apparently the game was just like, no. But that means, hold on, if we can't get the cattle car, 
then that means map wise there's no point going to the meat packing plant because we need that first so we honestly need to start like connecting the logging camp to the sawmill would be the next logical thing is get the logging camp hooked into our double main and then get the sawmill hooked in and that's pretty much the only way to go that is so unfortunate like that's that's unbelievably unfortunate that uh, that is the case let's set these brakes hopefully this works and we don't come back to a mess of cars let's uncouple this guy thank you and then let's go forward are you you're just trying to pull again this is the only unfortunate thing with these couplers if you kind of give it some slack it tries to recouple itself but that's okay all right so now we're gonna have to just go and deliver to the cattle farm i get that sucks we literally have to start doing logs i never even thought of the tier thing it's never been i mean we've played a lot of rails online it's never been a problem until now um but yeah now we're we're flat up just not allowed to buy a cattle car so the only thing i can really do is just deliver more products to the cattle farm and like then start expanding track i guess so my plan today was originally to deliver a freaking cow and maybe make some serious cash i i delivered so many seeds i'm not even joking like like probably a hundred i know there's only like 50 in the stack now but i definitely filled the seed stack and then just started carting water and uh yeah we only have 1100 dollars. like we're still super broke we'll probably have to just buy a locomotive honestly at some point here um let's see what can we even are my brakes on so let's see what we can even get um what do we got for like the cheapest locomotives that is that is so unfortunate that the tier thing tier five that sucks why is it even tier three to get a, a caboose really snow plow tier two for a, a passenger cart that's interesting porters are tier ones we can't even buy a 10 mile we're literally the the lowest of the low levels we can't buy anything worth anything right now unbelievable all right well since we can't actually you know progress the cattle industry anymore i'm definitely gonna have to we're gonna have to scope out the logging camp run next round uh i mean that's the only thing we can do but in the meantime we're gonna grab this okay that was a very hard a very hard dunk but i think we need both of these right because this is um this is for hay bales wait what are, yeah those are the log ones the extra log ones we have so that's for hay bales this is for this. Is that it? It's just the two cars? I think that's all I had, right? Yeah. We could buy, I guess, like, we could buy more cars to transport more grain and stuff quicker. You know, from the farm to the... I guess that's what the game wants us to do progression-wise. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I guess we don't need the freight depot anymore. I sort of bitched the patch notes, but I just bought two new cars, and they literally spawned, like, behind my train. Like, this is the one new car, and this is the other new car. I, I did not know that that was a thing. But yeah, we literally... They just spawned right in behind my train on the rail. That's... I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I mean, what if you're... I guess you always want to be in a specific spot. Like, what if you're not in a train? I'm so confused how that happened. Like, I just looked back. I was expecting to have to go to the freight depot and pick them up there. And it's like, nope, they're literally... And I didn't re-rail or anything. Like, I swear. They're just... They just magically... I just derailed. Okay, now we're going to have to re-rail. What... What... How did that great great guys great this was this was a great team effort all right we're now we're definitely re-railing but yeah i i don't know how that happened it literally just spawned all of them right in behind me we're just gonna we're just gonna fix all this up all right perfect pushing back just change this switch over as soon as we're through like that and now we can full steam ahead to the cattle farm where we got to go pick up our water uh containers a little bit of break helps slow that down there we go perfect but yeah we got to go pick up our water containers then we got to go all the way down the hill of course to the uh the water well fill up our water and then swing our way back through the cattle farm fill up that and then go of course and get our cows filled up again i can't believe i have to be tier five for cows that means it basically forces you to do the logging camp i was really hoping this time in railroads i could like sort of pick my path um, but you still have to do the logging camp industry. Of course, the meat packing plant could always take products that, you know, forces us that way anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I also cleaned this up. It had a weird, like, S-bend in it, so I kind of straightened it out and then made it just a continuous curve. Looks a lot nicer now. A lot of people are saying, too, I should put a switch off here, because you can just unload the freight depot on the other side. That's true, too. Um, but I figure if you're unloading on the freight depot, you might as well go into the yard. 
Especially if the locomotives don't spawn here anymore. Now this is like three lanes that you just have for free. It's weird to me that the locomotives spawn behind your track. Like behind your, your train on the track. But I mean, I'm not opposed to that. That is a very convenient uh, sort of setup. Okay, I need to flick that switch though. If we're going to stay on the main here. Yeah, no, that one's fine. This one needs to go. Thank you. A little bit late, but that's fine. And then we should be set to go right back into the cattle farm. And then hopefully this train isn't too heavy pulling the water. We've got two extra cars now, but they're light cars, so we're probably okay. All right, perfect. We're going to just back in here and pick up the, uh, the water containers. This is probably a really bad way to set up this train because now when we're coming up the hill, all our weight is on the very, very back and we've got a bunch of very light cars in the middle. Uh, I'm 99% sure that's how you string line a train. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, where you basically pull the middle cars off the track on a tight corner. That's going to dunk hard. It's fine. Everything's attached. We're good. Now we should be able to full steam ahead and get out of here. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is how you would string line a train. Luckily, we didn't really build any tight corners on the track, so I think we'll be okay. But if we were doing really tight, you know, 30, 40 meter radius corners... Um, in like a yard with a heavy weight on the back. I'm pretty sure we could pull the middle cars off in Railroads Online. I think we've done that before with like logging cars or something. But yeah, this is probably not the way you would set this up. I imagine you would put the water cars right behind the tender and then have the box cars because they're probably the next heaviest and then these little hay bale cars at the very end. But you know, we ain't got time to rearrange this. All right, let's just uh, cut the reg here. We're at the top of the hill. Now, of course, the hope is that we can actually make it back up the hill with all this extra weight. This is definitely the heaviest train Montezuma's pulled. You know, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you could just leave the empties up here at the farm. And that's true. That would make a lot more sense. I just don't want to have to hook them back up again. You see, I'm kind of lazy in that sense. I just want to be able to drive through the farm, pick up more products, and then leave. So that's sort of the hope and the goal. This is going to get really fast very quick. We're going to put a little bit of brake. Yeah. Like, we're not going to need much because we have no weight on this train. Okay, we're doing okay. 30 mile an hour is fine. The brakes would just be burning going down this hill. It's this thing, when you're in a car, you want to put it into a lower gear and let sort of the engine do the work going down the hill so you don't burn your brakes off your car. With a train, you don't really have a lower gear. I mean, I guess you could put the reverser in reverse and put some, you know, piston pressure. Like, you put some boiler pressure on the piston while it goes against the cycle, but I feel like that's not, not great either. I feel like you'd rather wear your brakes out than wear your pistons out. Alright, now nah, this is nice though. Nice calm 30 mile an hour down this hill. No problem. I guess we're gonna, like, connecting to the lumber yard is not gonna be hard. The line is right here. All we gotta do is make a Y off this line and go into the lumber yard. It's literally right there, the sawmill, I mean, not the lumber yard, the sawmill, which is like right here somewhere. But then the logging camp, I don't even know where that is. It's like north of our, our farm, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna have to do some weird line that bypasses the farm. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Oh my God. It just, it just, like the middle car just casually slid off the track on its own. We're gonna just break this. Unbelievable. Un freaking believable. It just it just casually these cars are fine. They recoupled themselves and everything. This one just casually was like, you know what? I'm just gonna slide off the track. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go do my own thing now. It was only like 40 mile an hour. I feel like the bigger cars might be a little bit more stable at the high speeds too. But this is like it's such a gradual corner. 1102, you stupid car. Put you back on the track. I can't believe that. Literally flat track. It, like, we got down the hill. This is all flat now, and just nope. It noped its way out of it. But yeah, the sawmill here is like, like, look, we can just put a switch right here. Go straight that way to get to the sawmill. And then another switch just comes back and wise back onto this. Then we go back up the same way. We'll have to build another little bypass line so you don't have to go through the water well each time with your sawmill products. But, I mean, that's not hard to do. But yeah, it's going to be easy enough to connect up. The logging camp's going to be difficult. But I guess that's honestly, like, that's the progression it wants us to take. Because Tier 2, Tier 3, what was that? That Tier 3 was a hopper, right? Yeah, Tier 2 is a logging car. Lumber, beams, rails, logs, and steel pipes. Tier 1, Tier 2. 
Tier three is a flat card. Yeah, that's literally that's literally what they want us to do. And we're we're currently what tier one, tier one. Hopefully we'll get tier two at the end of this. I'm not gonna lie, the devs did kind of they did kind of put the water well in the most inconvenient location on this map. Like I could understand people being like, you know, you should move the industry, and and having the industry in a different spot because this is a very it's a very inconvenient spot for a water well. We are gonna overshoot this. Like, 5% break is not gonna hold us on this hill. All right, let's, let's, I think I overshot that a bit. But yeah, this is, this is like the worst location. It's not only on the, on like the worst hill, it's quite literally in the middle of nowhere. Like this isn't even, it's not even like, you know, and presumably this is a water well. It's got like a, a windmill thing on the top, which I'm assuming powers a pump that pumps it from underground. You don't need to be this close to a lake for a water well to work. I'm just saying, you know. Perfect. Let's turn this guy off. There we go. Done. Not going to put the spout back in because it kind of resets every time you reload the game. I'm not sure if it resets every time you come back to this chunk, but every time you reload the save, for sure, these the, the valves reset back into the default zero position. Um, all right. Let's make sure we got fire for this. Looks like it's dwindling, so let's fill that up. The other thing I didn't think about too is we filled the tender with water and last time when we were doing this run up the hill we didn't have the tender full of water which I think actually adds weight like I'm pretty sure this game calculates the tender weight along with everything else so now we've got three full cars of water which is already basically Montezuma's tonnage up 4% um, then two empty box cars and two empty flat cars so I don't know if we're going to make it up this or not. Now, this isn't a full 4% grade. It does have sections that are only 2%, let's say. But we are going to climb our way out of this freaking valley with way too much stuff. This is definitely the longest train that Montezuma's ever had to do. So hopefully it works. And yeah, we'll be able to make a bypass line here. You're going to come out of the sawmill, get back on this track, and then we'll build a switch here that just does a, an arc in between this section. Might be a little tight. But, you know, we can arc through here, maybe even push this out wider if we have to. But yeah, just have a, a half circle. So if you're coming out of the sawmill and you don't want to go to the water pump, you can just turn, cut cut straight across, and then go back up the uh, the hill right away. Again, with your lumber products. And then get back onto the double mainline section. So far, we're doing okay. Cruising at a nice 20. We're still in the valley, though. I think we start to climb here. We might have to increase the... Johnson bar a little bit, but I'm just trying to keep the speed up. And now it's bogging. Alright, let's go full bar. Maximum power on this. And hopefully we'll be okay. We got lots of boiler pressure. I don't think we're gonna have any issues with wheel slips. So we don't need sand. Yeah, I think I don't know. I think we'll be fine. We'll see. It's It goes down to this, like, constant 18 mile an hour or whatever the heck this is. I think it's, like, 17 mile an hour or something like that. It just sort of sits there. What is this? Well, that's cylinder cocks. Okay. That's cool. And then we've got, of course, our bell. You know, it sucks. If we're stuck at tier 1 for a while, I mean, I guess we're going to be at tier... Did I get... You don't level up anything. It's only from delivering. Yeah. We literally don't level up at all from picking up anything or making track. So we're going to have to just, you know, probably connect up the logging to the sawmill and start loading the sawmill up with logs, which should be easy enough to do. We'll have to buy some cars for that. There are the two log cars that you start with, the little ones. We could buy more little ones because um, they're super efficient and we'll be going downhill with the load, presumably, and uphill empty. So it'll be really, really easy to do big log trains and get the sawmill pumping out products. But we don't have anywhere to deliver the sawmill products. I mean, I guess we could start selling, like, planks and beams and stuff back to the freight depot. And just do that a bunch of times. I mean, the game, we have to make money, essentially, to buy stuff. But I was really hoping we could buy a cattle car. Although it's tier 5. It's not even, like, tier 1 or tier 2. It's tier 5. And there's not even, like, a small cattle car we could buy. Like, why can't I put a cow on the back of, like, you know, uh, just a, a tiny little flat car with some, you know, like, one of those steak flats with little fences. An open cattle car can't tell me that didn't exist. I feel like that's got to be a thing where you can just have an open cattle car. You can only go maybe 10 mile an hour before the cow falls off. But hey, it would totally work. Also, we're bogging down to like 15 mile an hour, but I think we're okay. 
All right, this is, I think, the last, like, we're right at the very end, but this is the worst hill. This little bit's a pretty tough curve. I think it's a 4% curve, and then it flattens out a little bit here, and this is a definitely a 4% uh, curve coming up there, that last little bit. But I think we'll be okay. It actually does help, because it kind of slows the train down coming in. So let's go quickly teleport to the wheat farm. And while our train's coming in, I should be able to beat it to these switches. We can actually just sneak our way with the re-rail tool. I keep forgetting about that. You can use like the re-rail tool or pretty much any tool to just fly. Okay, so it's gonna come in there. It's gonna cross across. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's gonna come in here. We need it to come into this one over this way. And then let's fly our way over. And it needs to come in this way to load up on more stuff. It's gonna be nighttime soon. Oh yeah, it's coming in no problem. That's so cool. I love that it's an actual, like, consist. I know we had, we said this before, but it looks so cool when it's actually got, you know, different cars. It's got a whole different train set up. Looks like a proper train, you know? If we, we should have painted the cars different colors, but whatever. These are our basic cars anyway. It's actually so cool that we're transporting a multi-loaded goods train, though. It's, it's amazing. I love it. All right, let's, uh, let's stop this. Let's break here. Uh, I'm pretty sure these go on these first two cars. Whoops, I over overdid that. Back up a little bit. Alright, second car is loaded. Better turn on our light. It's getting to be that time. And then let's pull ahead to the grain silo. Which is more like a grain warehouse, but same deal. Alrighty, perfect. Everything is loaded. We've got 18 water, we've got 8 grain, and we've got 8 uh, straw bales. So let's head on over to the cattle farm. Should be... No big deal here. We are heavy. This is an extremely heavy train. You can feel it. It is just a freaking brick trying to move anywhere. Let's just set that nice and slow while we go and set some switches. Um, so that one is good. That one is fine. These ones are the ones that need a switch. So we're going to turn over there and get onto the main line. And then we're going to run the main line for a bit. And then I can literally just fly my way over to the switch. This is amazing. We don't even need to actually have our train. We can just fly our way and let our train... There we go. And then we need to flick that one. Perfect. Now let's go get back on our train. I probably should put, like, telegraph offices everywhere. I really wish Railroads Online had a tool like Derail Valley where you could, from the locomotive, just, like, point and click and flick a switch. I understand, like, you know, it's supposed to be more realistic. Like, yeah, I can't even see the switches if I try and... Maybe if I lean out, let's see, can I, can I like, no. Oh, there, there I could throw it. Yeah, you gotta be like right on it to throw it though. But it would be cool if they had that system where you could actually throw it from a distance. Because then it just makes solo operating of a train a little easier. I mean, now they've got the tools, so you can't just like, you know, I could just hop out here, hit re-rail and go fly ahead. So that does help. You can catch your trains now no matter what. Pretty sure we fly faster than even the fastest train. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it would be nice if I could throw switches without having to leave the cab. Just, you know, even clicking like this would be cool. I understand, or, you know, make it an option, because it's not, it's not really super realistic. But, you know, we can fly around the map, so I, I, I feel like that's not realistic either. I think it's, it, I think it'd be okay to have a switch control. Just doing a quick check, making sure all our cars are here. This is, in fact, the heaviest train we've run. Super cool. I don't know how heavy it is. I don't think we're up above 100,000 pounds yet. Uh, I think it was like 45, 50,000 pounds with the three water cars. And then these are probably maybe another, you know, 10 each max, not even. So we're maybe up at 100, maybe, maybe 100,000 pounds would be close. Probably like 70, 60, 70,000. I should probably know the weight of my own consist, right? Like, isn't that, that's like train operation 101. It's bogging down. This is only 2% and it's bogging. It does not like the 2%. I don't think there's anything steeper than that. Maybe that there's a ramp up to the bridge that leads into the cattle farm. I don't think this ramp right here, I think it's only 2% too. Yeah, see we cut up here to a little plateau, it smooths out and then it goes up a ramp. I really should just make this like one continuous smooth hill but anyway it doesn't really matter all right i should fly ahead and set some switches there we go re-rail that's so cool you can do like nice cinematic shots this way too like we can just come in here 
Look at this, just just a nice. Neat. All right, cool. Yeah, though well, we should probably set some switches. I like this. It's so cool. The tools are very very nice. All right, that's good. That's good. That comes in. That comes in, and then this just goes that way. Yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter which way we go. All right, perfect. This will lead us in no problem. Hopefully this gets us level two. And then I guess we're we're doing logs next. I mean, I don't really have a choice. The lumber camp is... The logging camp is going to be a difficult trek. It's way up here in the hills. And it's way past the wheat farm. So we're going to have to build some sort of a line that gets up to there. So that's going to be exciting. But let's just cut the reg. We are an industry track now. Not even an issue getting up the hill. So sick. There we go. Perfect. All right, unload this stuff. Done. Perfect, nice little Minecraft grain cubes. We're at 826 XP, okay. So that did give us a little bit of XP. I don't even think this train is honestly gonna give us enough to level up to level two, which is very unfortunate. We're gonna have to deliver. Maybe that's the difference between the big cars and the small cars. They, the small cars, they're more space efficient in terms of the load, but maybe the big difference is the fact that they um, they give you more XP if you transport big cars because they're heavier. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I, I thought maybe I'd have to line up with the water there. That might actually be the thing. Maybe it's the big cars or your XP cars, and that's really what we should be doing is transporting big ones for all the XP. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys actually understand that. I, I've never, it's never been an issue up until this point. Oh my god, are you gonna, can you stop, please? Let's just tie that break. Thank you. Are you too far now? No, perfect. Nice. All right, perfect. Are we gonna make, oh, no, eight, one XP. It's one XP per water that we unload. Are you serious? That's so bad. Like actually, actually the worst. One XP, and we I'm assuming we need a thousand to get to level two. And it, and then I don't know if they have a scaling XP system or not, but if we need like 2000 for level three, then good luck to us. I'm assuming bigger products give us more XP, but holy cow, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to crank out levels. I never thought that would be a thing in this game. I never thought I would have to crank out levels. That's so funny. All right, there we go. Water. Perfect. I feel like we're we're good on the water here. Grain, yeah, we only have one grain and one straw bale. We could probably do a bunch of trips. Water's at 24. We could probably do a bunch of trips of just these carts first and leave the water at the at the grain farm and then do some water runs or just get a second person i need a second locomotive how much money do we have 490 dollars right we bought some cars that's right we're basically broke but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below we have some cows i'd love to i'd love to bring them back to the freight depot i really would but apparently you know we're gonna fill this up by the time we fill this up we'll probably be bringing them straight to the meat packing plant because uh yeah you got to get to level two and we're just, we're just not there yet. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time. Freaking devs trying to stop my progress.